It's been a week since workers walked off the job at a number of Saskatchewan Crown Corporations. The union representing them has been tweeting at the Premier, telling Scott Moe to come home and deal with the issue. Adam Hunter covers politics for CBC Saskatchewan. So, Adam, what's been happening with the strike? Well, it's coming into the public realm more than we've seen uh you know, in the last few days really rapidly. So what's been happening is the government has been sending out news releases saying, hey, uh, this is how much a crown worker makes versus, you know, your regular Saskatchewan worker. Uh, the numbers they're using to compare MBLA salaries isn't really the right number. The Unifor is coming back the other way and saying, Scott Mo, come back from Japan. They're actually tweeting him in Japanese. Uh, some of that's a bit ridiculous. There's also allegations of bullying that's been happening. SAS Power coming out with a news release saying that Unifor has security guards that are bullying people that are trying to cross the picket lines. So it's getting a little bit ugly right now as far as the allegations and uh, the things that are coming back and forth. Uh, we also see the Water Security Agency uh, came to a tentative agree agreement on Thursday and Unifor coming out telling their members to reject that. All right, so clearly uh, some reaching out towards the Premier. What is the government's messaging on this? The government's saying that their deal right now is fair, that they're offering zero, zero uh, in the first two years. And that's really the sticking point here in these negotiations. It's that first couple of years of zero, zero. Uh, Unifor is hoping for 2%. They said that doesn't keep up with the cost of living, the zero and zero. Uh, something to keep in mind with this as well is that the government, uh, if it's to give, you know, let's say a one or 2% increase to all the workers uh, that are involved in the strike action, uh, that could affect their budget and they want to get to a balanced budget and have a surplus in the, in the spring. So that's also at play here. We also have the teachers uh, awaiting uh, a new deal for themselves and their negotiations and their contract offer is a little bit different as well. All right, so lots going on with that and also lots of, uh, lots of progress this week with the federal campaign. Um, we know that Scott Moe has said he wouldn't take sides in this election, but party supporters and the former premier are. What's the latest on all of that? So uh, we did a story yesterday uh, about uh, some uh, really a massive advertising campaign that was if you had the National Post or the Globe and Mail you would have seen this a full page ads front cover of the National Post uh, with an anti uh, Trudeau message it was uh, paid for and organized by a group based in Regina here they've fundraised more than two hundred fifty thousand dollars in three in just three months they put a bunch of billboards around Canada we would people here in Regina would remember the uh, Ralph Goodell billboards that went up and so uh, we had Brad Wall tweeting support for that ad campaign uh, the people that are behind that campaign have ties to the Saskatchewan party. So while Scott Moe isn't uh, publicly endorsing anyone, his party and himself have come out in speeches uh, being critical of Jagmeet Singh, being critical of Justin Trudeau, of course. So uh, it's not really a secret who the premier is siding with, but he hasn't formally endorsed anyone, at least yet. All right. Well, lots to watch in the coming weeks. Thanks so much, Adam. You're welcome.